What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Con Enthusiast. We're back with another video. So today we're going to do a follow-up video to the last video, which was uh, the five things I hated about my car. So today we're going to talk about five things that I love about this Hyundai Kona N. So let's go ahead and get that video started. <music> So the first thing that I love about this car um, are the seats. So uh, for those of you that don't know, these seats are le leather on the bolsters and suede in the middle, all guitar suede in the middle. Um, I think they're extremely comfortable seats. I've been in this car at times between six and 10 hours nonstop, actually longer than that on road trips. And they're just yep. honestly comfortable. Even though you have the tight cushionings that hold you on the corners, they're really comfortable seats um, for this price point. Um, the second thing that I love about this car is the tech and safety that comes with, uh, safety features that come with. So um, the tech, you have 10.25 inch screen here and another one for the infotainment. So you have the digital dash and infotainment, both really big screens. Um, it doesn't exactly feel overkill. I like that Hyundai actually with this because it's a smaller SUV, they were able to push the screen back a little bit versus the launcher. It's a little more in your face, um, kind of like the Mercedes and stuff um, like that. Um, I saw like that they acknowledged the fact that this is a small SUV and the screen shouldn't be that close. But yeah, so the technology is great. And then the safety features again, um, I think Hyundai did a really good job with the obsession of, you know, forgetting the radar cruise control, but um, it has the blind spot monitor, the backup camera, rear cross traffic alert. Um, and then it has the um, lane centering and the lane keep assist. Um, I think the lane centering, um, yeah, it could be a little jerky, but as far as steering for like the longest amount of time, I think this has to be one of the best I've driven. Um, I've had a couple of rental cars. You can have lane centering assist, but if you take your hands off for even five seconds, it's like, nah, I can't do that. Um, it'll basically give you a, a warning saying, please, you know, keep your hands on the wheel. This car, I've driven literally 30 minutes on a straight road in the middle of the country without touching the wheel. It goes through the slight corners and everything for you. So I think it's a really, really good system. Um, but the, the biggest thing I love about these safety features are the fact that it actually has collision avoidance. So blind stop monitor, if you're about to go into somebody's lane, and somebody's there with your signal being on, it will jerk you back into your lane, um, turn you back into that lane. Um, also, if you have um, a situation where you're about to rear in somebody and you cannot stop in time, the car will hit the brakes and switch lanes for you if there's nobody beside you. It will switch lanes to make sure that you're not going to hit that person. Um, and, and then um, backing up, of course, with the the cross traffic alert it will hit the brakes in situations so a lot of times i know this sounds dangerous when i'm backing out um i don't really check my mirror as well i usually just watch the backup camera for whatever's coming because whether it's a pedestrian a bike a car or whatever it will stop or it will warn you and then stop if you don't stop when it warns you so i think hyundai has a really really good uh, safety system um honestly for the money i think it's amazing uh, so the third thing I want to talk about is the sound system that this car comes with. Um, so a lot of Hyundai owners or Kona N owners don't like it from what I've been hearing, but it's an eight speaker Harman Kardon sound system. I think it's a really good sound system. Um, it could be, you know, a little bit beefier in, in the lower volume ranges, but when you turn the volume up to 30 um, and above, really 25 and above, it really bumps. Um, it has a speaker in the door, then another tweeter in the door. And then um, right behind the radio right here, the infotainment system, there's a speaker. Of course, the back doors have them. And then in the trunk, there is, I believe, a 10 inch sub or maybe eight inch sub back there. And that really brings through the bass. I love bass in my music. So I think it's a perfect sound system for what I like, but I would like better mid ranges, of course. But honestly, again, for the price point, really good sound system. Um, honestly, it's a good alternative if you don't want to listen to the loud exhaust system that this car comes with. Um, so the fourth thing that I want to talk about is the transmission. So the transmission on this car is an eight-speed wet dual clutch. I know there's a lot of controversy with this transmission because of the recall, but honestly, um, aside from the recall, it is a really, really good transmission. Um, it shifts extremely smooth. The engagement point off the line with it being a dual clutch, you can't tell it's a dual clutch most of the time unless you're in a situation like there's um, you're going uphill or if um, you kind of get off the gas and let the car 
roll and then you hit the brake or not to break the gas, then you'll of course feel the engagement um, at that point. But honestly, I've driven um, a, co a couple of Audis, a couple of Volkswagens um, with dual clutches. And I think this is just hands down the best dual clutch I've ever driven. Um, of course, Porsche has a better one with their PDK system. But I mean, with it being a wet dual clutch design, it rivals that design with the Porsche PDK. And um, I think that's really, really good for Hyundai that they were able to come out with this and, and include this with this car. Um, I mean, the biggest thing I love about it is that you can literally be in normal mode and shift, you know, basically however you like to, um, just everyday driving, sport mode shifts a little bit quicker and, you know, in mode, it shifts obviously the quickest out of all the modes and it'll actually have the power shift feature where it basically does not get off the gas as it shifts, um, as you would if you had a stick shift and was power shifting. And so, um, that delivers the power really well in that setting. And of course in eco mode for efficiency reasons, it actually is a really, really efficient transmission. It will get from first to eighth gear as quick as possible. Um, it always tries to keep you in the lowest gear, but it's also smart enough to know when you, you know, prop the gas enough. Okay. Is the boost enough to get you to that speed that you're trying to get up to, or do I need to downshift? So it does a really good job in eco mode of trying to preserve your um, gas mileage. Unfortunately, I don't drive in eco mode as much as I should. Um, but when I do drive in eco mode, it is really, really um, efficient. So the fifth thing that I want to talk about, obviously this is a big one for this car is the performance. Um, the performance of this car is just, yes, we're talking about a Hyundai. Yes, we're talking about SUV, but honestly, this is performance wise, the most fun car I've driven aside from maybe a type R, but I mean, even then I think it's in some cases more fun, some cases that's more fun. But anyways, this is a extremely fun car, um, for the price point, um, is so multi-dimensional. You can go from driving, you know, very efficiently to driving normal without the exhaust. If you want to add the exhaust, you can. And of course, at the track mode, the end mode, you can be aggressive as possible. Um, there's also an extra mode, the NGS, that has, you know, extra horsepower for 20 seconds. Um, I think Hyundai did a really good job with the performance. I mean, you have an adjustable suspension, you have the brakes, um, of course, this lightweight vehicle. I mean, everything together just works. It's like, I can't pick out a favorite part of the performance I like. I love the exhaust. I love the fact that the brakes are really good. I love that it corners and it's just very agile for SUV. I think just the combination of everything as a performance package is just, is just great. Um, and, and honestly, like I said, the biggest thing is just that the car is so docile and I mean, you can change you can change the way you want it to drive um, on your own. So that kind of ties into the last thing I want to talk about with this is the fact that like this car has so many customizations for the price point. It is just kind of crazy. The digital speedometer, for example, if you don't like the white screen or you want to, you, your favorite is the red sports screen. You can have that set 24 seven, unless you go in end mode and you know, it's a little things like that, or uh, which I'm going to show a video of that in a second, the, the end screen, there is so many customizable features. You have custom one and two that you can set to, to each button on the steering wheel and customize it however you see fit uh, for what you like. So me personally, um, I, I like to mix a little bit of the exhaust with the, you know, efficiency, just drive normal, I wanna hear the exhaust, but there's just so many ways that you can go uh, with customizing this vehicle. So as you can see, this is the end performance screen right here. Um, in this screen right here, I have my custom one setting as the engine and sport plus um, the steering normal since the steering is really heavy and the suspension is normal because I was suspension gets really stiff in this car when you adjust it and then my transmission is set for normal sometimes I'll flip it to sport if I want to be a little bit sport if I'm just driving around town uh, sport mode usually will do and then exhaust is in sport plus mode so I can still have some pops and bangs here and there um, and then Obviously, traction is there, and this is here. So there are so many different ways you can customize this car. You can even go to performance options and do things such as your launch control. You can set the RPMs up or low, however much you want to. And, you know, I think it goes down to 2,000 RPM. And then you can, you know, obviously add you on shift lights, alerts, the end performance shift. So this is what I talked about. It basically power shifts into the next gear. And then I leave this one on pretty much. So this is the track sense. So if you're driving a little aggressive, the car would kick in and notice, okay, he's driving aggressive. He's trying to race. Let me go ahead and, you know, give him that aggressive setting. So I think honestly, it's just amazing options that you can have for this car. So yeah, guys, that is um, my top five likes, things I love about this car. 
Um, like I said, it is an amazing car. I know a lot of people were not happy with the last video, especially people from my Facebook group. They weren't happy with the with the thumbnail or the title of the video. But honestly, I truly love this car. Yes, those are things that I do not like about this car, but there are so many things about this car that outweighs those cons. I honestly forget about those most of the time. But like I said, this is an amazing car. Um, great buy. I recommend it to anybody this in a lunch or in for sure. Um, but yeah, guys, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you hit the like um, button. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Um, also, make sure you share the videos out to those who you feel will be interested in watching anything regarding this car or the end community. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is IC underscore Kona underscore N. Um, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll have another video out for you soon.